Winter precipitation can take on several different forms, sometimes all of them in just one storm. What actually falls out of the sky depends on the temperature, not just at the surface, but as far as 10,000 feet up in the atmosphere. The Ohio Valley is often the battleground, where warm, moist air from the Gulf of Mexico rides up and over a shallow cold air mass pushing south from the Great Lakes. The type of precipitation that falls is determined by just how warm and how deep that overrunning air gets. Most of the time in the winter, the clouds are cold enough that precipitation starts out as snow. When the temperature is above freezing at the ground, and the warm air is deep enough and or warm enough, snow melts completely and reaches the ground as rain. If the temperature remains below freezing all the way to the ground, precipitation will remain as snow. When it's below freezing at the ground, but the layer of warm air aloft is above freezing, that's where it gets complicated. If that warm layer is shallow, or just a couple degrees above freezing, the snow doesn't melt completely. Also, if the cold air near the ground is cold enough, or deep enough, even liquid can refreeze. Either way, what reaches the ground is little pellets of ice known as sleet. A deeper or warmer layer aloft will be enough to melt the snow completely to rain. Precipitation reaches the ground as rain, but freezes on contact with cold surfaces. Roads and sidewalks become slick, and trees and power lines become weighted down as the ice accumulates. The transition from rain to freezing rain to sleet to snow can change dramatically with just a couple degrees change in temperatures. This is perhaps the most challenging aspect in forecasting winter weather in the Ohio Valley.